Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. They start the drive on the ground. Camara. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. On first and 10, here's Carr. On the right side, this is Miller. Finding space at the 40. As we get this one up to the 44-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Now a first down run is sniffed out from the start as he'll drop it for a loss of four. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Carr. He gets it complete to A.T. Perry. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 38-yard line. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They're trying to continue that trend here this afternoon. On play action, it's Carr. Completes it to Perry. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Williams will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. From the two now, second and goal. Williams will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. You think back to 2022 with Detroit, Jamal Williams just unstoppable down near the goal line. 17 rushing touchdowns. 13 of those were from two yards or less. He's just an absolute battering ram down in this part of the field, and he finishes off another drive in the end zone. Blake Groupie now for the extra point. And it's good as the Saints have a 7-0 lead. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. 
And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. They'll go for it. O'Connell. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. O'Connell now on second and ten. And his throw is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To throw here, O'Connell. And yeah, that will be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Carlson able to put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and he'll force the incompletion. Now Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. Room here to run. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. 30 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Coming left is Camara. 
Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. On second down, here's Carr. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47 yard line. So, a good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30 yard line. Now after the INT, it's Carr. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. On second down, Camara. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And quickly, they get to the line. to throw on third and one. Flushed out right. And it is caught. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Taysom Hill taking it in from two yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. Groupie for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Raider offense set to get this drive started as they take over with exactly one minute to go here before intermission. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Dumps it complete to Miller. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to touchdown, A.T. Perry, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Saints will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. 
And a point after, good by Groupie. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Bennett bruising ahead and able to get this out to the 25. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On second down, O'Connell. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Throwing on third, O'Connell. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Saints are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely. Shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you're throwing this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24-3. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. 
Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On third and one, O'Connell, he's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Here's O'Connell. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Adams. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that will bring up second down. Play action. Now Connell. That one into the hands of Adams downfield. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 22-yard line. To the air again with O'Connell. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. Touchdown, Raiders. Jacoby Myers, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And this is up and good. That'll make it a score now of 24 to 10. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's gonna bring this out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. We got to go out there and get some more points. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing his car on third down. This is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in the first there, Parker. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here comes the Saints punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. This is brought in at the 21. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. And I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now O'Connell. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't 
scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. O'Connell here on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Carnell on first down, eluding the pressure right. They'll find Shahid out to the right. Touchdown! Seven yards. And the Saints will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for it and not making it on fourth down. One play, touchdown. Yeah, and I've got to put this on the man in charge, the head coach. He made the decision to go for it. To me, when punting was the only decision to make, and it backfired on him in a big way. Groupie able to add the PAT and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will see. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. The Raiders on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and seven. And O'Connell now to throw. That will take it in by Adams. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown! Devontae Adams. 59 yards. And the Raiders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Raiders have recovered. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. And yeah, he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Throwing, O'Connell. And this would hold in again, it's Hooper. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. The left side throw complete to Adams. Touchdown, Raiders! Devontae Adams with now two fifth-quarter touchdowns. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. So we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The 
the Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Things sure were looking good for them at the half. Heck off the air, you and I were just saying they might have run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. Yeah, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to mash the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business now that you're being pressed? It is definitely go time for them at this moment. All of a sudden clinging to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Carr going to try and throw on third down. Flush to his right. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Divine Diablo. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Raider defense delivers a score. Now the offense, they've really not been able to mount anything yet on that drive. And the defense made sure they couldn't mount anything. The interception and the return adding six to the scoreboard. That's no small return for a linebacker partner. He took matters into his own hands and his legs on that pick. And once he had it, I don't think anyone on the field could have stopped it. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They will look to flush the memory of that pick six as we now have a brand new tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the good stuff. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Car to throw on second down. Open man left side. Shaheed has it. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Car taken down. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Throwing now is Carr. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. defensively that turns this game right on its ear and now forget about going fast they might want to take the air out a little bit and force the defense to use some timeouts here's first and goal this is Benjamin but that's all. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. They stay on the ground. This time it's Camaro. 
And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. So here we go, a big spot now for Blake Groupie. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And his kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. I guess we can call that a welcome to the NFL <laughs> moment right there. And he came in with open arms and knocked it through. Yeah, how about that? It's almost surely a game winner, right? And you know, rookie kickers, Usually the leash is kind of short, isn't it? I think they went ahead and got that extended model for him now after making that kick. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. Here's O'Connell. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And Charles, in this one, the fourth quarter,